Energy conservation and using energy efficient devices is a trend that is steadily accelerating across the spectrum. While an MCU usually consumes only a small part of the power budget when it comes to wall power designs, they do consume a much more significant part of the budget when it comes to battery powered or portable designs. Hi, my name is Michael Thomas and I will be presenting the Low Power Design Lab at DEF CON. The standard way of approaching this problem is to first perform an analysis of your application come up with a MIPS number, perform another analysis to see what kind of battery life you're expecting. With these two pieces of information in hand, you crack open data sheets, look at the low power numbers for your MCU of choice, and then you look at the performance of the MCU and try to determine what best fits. Or you just listen to the Renaissance sales guy and go for personality. In this class, we're going to try and bring some more clarity and definition to this process. First, we'll better quantify an application rather than just using the lump sum metrics of MIPS and battery life. We're going to use a tool that will let us model the performance versus power consumption for different phases of operation. To clearly showcase the advantages of this approach, we've chosen two different Rensys MCUs, the RL78 G13 and the RX210. While they fall more or less within the same user segment, they do have significantly different architectures and performance metrics. The application that we're going to try and model will have different stages as well. There's going to be a math intensive stage, there's going to be a communication intensive stage, there's going to be low power stages, and we're going to use this tool to model this application. You'll be able to tweak different parameters of the application and see the point at which one MCU starts becoming a better choice than the other. At the end of this class, you'll come up with a better understanding of all the different items that need to be factored into making this decision. You will see that the data sheet does not always give you all the information you need to choose the best MCU. And finally, you will have a scalable tool that will let you accurately model most applications and then compare any given MCU to see if it fits your application. See you at DEF CON in October.